The youth group at Shades Crest had an impact on my life by surrounding me with people who love the Lord and have the same passion for the Lord that I do, and people who want me to grow closer to God with them. Some advice I would give to the upcoming seniors is don't be afraid to lead and speak out when uh, other people are afraid to, and uh, make sure you try to come to as much stuff as possible. Next year, I'll be attending Auburn University, and I'll be majoring in professional flight. I'll be attending the Oaks Retreat this summer. It is a church out outreach camp to help upcoming freshmen find a home church when they move to Auburn. The youth group at Shades Crest has had an impact on my life because it's given me a family to really just like surround myself with and just be able to like have a support group for whenever I'm just like struggling with something. There's always people to just help me out and just help me like, get back on the right path. I'm most thankful for uh, the friendships that it's given me and um, also the just the lessons that I've learned from Dennis and Preston and all the other leaders in the youth group. But what's next for me is I'm headed to Auburn in the fall. I'll be majoring in mechanical engineering. I'm trying to find a new church in Auburn, so I'm going to the Oaks Retreat, which is like a student-led uh, retreat where you can find a home church in an unfamiliar city such as Auburn. I'm looking forward to uh, meeting a bunch of uh, Christ-following people at the Oaks Retreat and just being able to find a new home for people that love Christ like me. When it came to finding community after the pandemic, it was really hard, so being able to be introduced by Emma was a really good way to find a community who loved Christ just the same way I do. I will be attending the University of North Alabama and cheering on the sidelines for the Lions. I would say God is trying to help me um, be more patient and find more peace in waiting and just and not trying to just do everything at once and be as busy as possible and just be still with Him. I'm looking forward to being able to find new friends and just be in a new environment and be able to strive in any position I'm being put in in college. The youth group at Shades Crest has given me a family of believers and a community to grow my faith in. It's gifted me, gifted me with a lot of my closest friends and when I was younger allowed me to look up to a lot of the older girls and gave me like older sister figures that I never had. To the upcoming seniors, I would say appreciate every moment. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and to follow the Lord and to be the one who sets the example. Don't wait for someone else to do it. Really invest everything you have into your faith and into the community here. Next year, I will be attending Auburn University where I will be majoring in psychology. So I'm really excited to get plugged in into a local church. Um, I will also be attending the Oaks Retreat over the summer where I hope to meet a community of believers. The youth group at Shades Crest has always been a place that I could come back to and I always know that I have people here that will support me and they're a great group to help me grow spiritually. I'm most thankful for all the friendships that I've made here in the youth group and how supportive everyone is. Next year, I will be attending Auburn University and majoring in exercise science. This summer, I will be going to the Oaks to try and find new churches and then possibly going to FBO at Auburn and joining a small group. Uh, the youth group at Shades Crest has had an impact on my life because it kind of gave me a family and people that I knew I could come to every week and see and have friend, a friendship with. Uh, some advice I would share with upcoming seniors is to get more involved in the youth and really dive in and not think about like what others might think about whatever you're doing. Just dive in and do what God wants you to do. Uh, next, I plan to go to the University of Alabama and I'm going to major in structural engineering and I'm going to try and get an MBA. Uh, I plan to go to a couple retreats this summer for Alabama to find a church and I plan to, when I get there, go with some of my friends and go look around at different churches and I think that I'll probably end up at Calvary. Um, so the youth group at Shades Crest has just provided me um, a family of believers and I feel like everyone is just so supportive and not only are the youth that I'm surrounded with in my grade just so supportive of me and my endeavors and some of my closest friends, but also the adult leaders um, and Dennis and um, just everyone who helps out are just so kind and just so genuine, um, genuinely interested in seeing us grow in our faith. Um, so my advice for upcoming seniors um, would have to be to not be afraid um, to take a risk and not be afraid to put yourself out there and just um, 
take chances, um, make yourself like vulnerable. Like currently, um, me, Peyton, and Marshall, we lead worship on Wednesdays, and I never saw myself doing this. Um, I hate being the center of attention, still do. Um, <laughs> it kind of makes me uncomfortable, but um, like it, ultimately, it was what was needed, and um, I think it's definitely helped me grow and get more comfortable up on stage. And it's just like being willing to take risk and put yourself out there, and um, you know, be the center of attention and do things that are out of your comfort zone. Because ultimately, where your comfort zone ends is where like God can step in and work. Following graduation, I will be attending Auburn University um, with a major in biological sciences and a concentration in pre-med, and then I'm minoring in Spanish. Um, so at Auburn, I don't really have like a church yet that I like am thinking I'm going to go to, like, I, or I'm good at going to church, but I don't have like one in mind yet. Um, but one thing that I'm making sure to do is like leave time in my schedule for church because I tend to get busy pretty quickly, but I want church to be like one of my um, main activities that I'm like focused on and um, have time for. So even if that means like giving up another opportunity, um, that's what I, I want to make sure to just leave time for church. and. Um, even like I'm definitely gonna um, church hop like when I get there and kind of just see which church um, feels the most, um, I guess, the best place for me to grow in my walk. And um, even if I don't really know a lot of people there or my, it's not the church my friends are going to, um, I want it to be like a place that I know I'll be able to grow in my faith. The youth group at Shades Crest has just been extremely uh, welcoming. I love getting to know these guys and hanging around them. I'm thankful for the relationships I've made with these people and being able to grow my faith and just have a stronger connection with the Lord. Some advice that I'd give to the seniors would be, don't stress too much uh, about the little things and just work your hardest at everything you do and give all the glory to God. I'll be going to Middle Tennessee State University to major in music production and minor in songwriting. So I know there are a lot of good churches in Nashville and in Murfreesboro, and I'm just gonna be looking to find uh, the one that fits best for me. The youth group at Shades Crest has impacted my life by giving me a family of people that can keep me accountable in my faith. I'm most thankful for having a group of people that I can feel comfortable talking about my faith with. Some advice I would have for upcoming seniors is to make the most of it because it goes by a lot quicker than you think it does. So I will be attending Mississippi State University and I'm still undecided about my major. I will find a home in Christ by finding a church that I feel comfortable with.